Hi, this is Dorothy Hendricks, and I'm doing my presentation on the Pacific Islanders. First, some demographics. A Pacific Islander can be described or defined as a native or inhabitant of one of the islands in the Pacific Ocean. These would include the islands of Malaysia, or excuse me, Melanesia, Micronesia, and Polynesia. It would exclude New Zealand and the Hawaiian Islands. However, the U.S. Census Bureau does include the people of Hawaii, and in 2015, there were roughly 1.3 million native Hawaiians, Pacific Islanders alone, or in combination with one or more races that reside in the United States. This group represents 0.4% of the U.S. population. Out of that, 370,000 native Hawaiians or Pacific Islanders reside in Hawaii. The 10 states with the largest Asian Pacific Islander populations in 2000 were California, New York, Hawaii, Texas, New Jersey, Illinois, Washington, Florida, Virginia, and Massachusetts. There are at least 39 different Pacific Island languages spoken as a second language in the American home. Some family and cultural values. Flower power. It is common for women to place a tiare, the national flower of French Polynesia and the Cook Islands, behind their ear. They will place it behind their left ear if they are in a relationship and behind their right ear if they are single. Hawaii is the 50th state and it boasts the highest life expectancy in the United States, 76 years for men and 81 years for women. Pacific Islanders have a, live a very social lifestyle. Family members, both immediate and extended, work together in a solidified community. Embedded deeply in the Polynesian culture are traditional music, dance, and food. Cultural storytelling, music, and dance are ancient ways of passing down history from one generation to another. Some notable, notable events are Lay Day, which is celebrated May 1st. It is Hawaiian celebration of making, giving, and wearing lays. Festivities include music, hula, and laymaking contests. Also, Kamehameha Day. King Kamehameha is celebrated every year on June 11th for uniting all of the Hawaiian Islands under one monarchy and reigning in peace with mana, the spiritual power from the gods. One of the most important rituals that the islands have in common is the kava ceremony found in Fiji, Samoa, Tonga, and the Vanuatu. Kava is a drink made from the crushed root of the pepper plant. The powder is strained and mixed with water in a large wooden bowl and drunk from a coconut shell cup. In the family, the father is considered the lord of the family and it's his duty to make sure the family is safe and fed, and it's the mother's duty to care for the children and to do the housework. The interviewee, Dr. Dan Hokoy, PhD, received his degree in clinical psychology from Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario, Canada. One of his areas of expertise is racial identity and he grew up Chinese. This was central to his life, although he wasn't always conscious of it. His family was the only Chinese family on the block, and they were struggling immigrants, so he always associated being Chinese with being poor. He had a lot of ethnic self-hate in him at that time. His training in psychology helped him process what was going on inside himself. Of the Asians, the Chinese were the first immigrants in the United States, dating back to the 1840s. 
In times of need, Asians are more likely to turn to their immediate and extended family for assistance rather than to an outsider. With regard to psychological problems, Asian families may just prefer to live with the problem, preferring to work it out themselves rather than going outside for help. Therapy is a foreign concept in Asian culture. Another thing to consider is the fact that there may be a great degree of shame and stigma associated with someone leaving the community and seeking professional help. The airing of private affairs to strangers is virtually unheard of. The interview. Asian Americans defined according to Dr. Hokoi. There is great diversity among them, and they do not conveniently fit into one categorization or description. When he speaks of Asian Americans, he is referring to those with Mongolian and early Chinese ancestry, which includes the mainland Chinese, Japanese, Koreans, Vietnamese, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Singapore, Malaysia, Philippines, Laos, Thailand, and others from that region. The history and treatment of Asians in the U.S. have caused them to be very closed in terms of their interactions with other Americans, and that is why you see many Chinatowns in large urban areas today. Many Asians in the U.S. still retain traditional norms, and so a limited segment of the community will ever find their way into a therapist office. Something that is essential for a non-Asian counselor to do prior to working with an Asian client is a thorough self-assessment of their own competence to work with this cultural group. They must possess sufficient understanding and knowledge about the culture as well as an awareness of what they are bringing to the therapeutic relationship. Dr. Hokoi shared a case that he worked on. Terrence was an engineering student who came to him because he was getting B grades. He was getting strong demand from his family and himself to do better. He had other difficulties as well. He lacked social skills and didn't have many friends. By his second year of university, these factors caused him depression. Hokoi was, was able to work with him and encourage him to follow an integrationist path that would allow him to maintain his cultural traditions and establish relations outside the Asian community. Conclusion One of the points that I liked is that the Pacific Islanders live social lifestyles and believe in strong-knit families. The month of May is nationally recognized as Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders are one of the fastest growing racial groups in our country. Asian Americans, Native Hawaiians, and Pacific Islanders have been serving honorably in the United States military since the War of 1812. The highest ranking Asian American, Native Hawaiian, Pacific Islander in the military was Eric Shinseki, who was the former Army Chief of Staff. Thank you very much.